quick video on word art. Word art is used to enhance your document, to give it something that's actually going to pop and stand out. To get to word art, we go to the insert tab and over here to where it says word art. And we click the down arrow and we choose the word art we want to use. So let's start with this one uh, and insert it. Now before it goes in, it's going to ask us what text we want to put in there. So I'm going to type in um, my name, Mrs. Ryan. Okay. And then when I click out, there's my text. There's my word art that says Mrs. Ryan. I can move it around, put it in the middle. I can uh, change the color of it, the fill of it. I can go up here to where it says text fill. Notice I'm in the contextual tabs of the formatting, of the contextual tabs for the drawing tools, which is what word art is under. I can go to text fill and I can change the color. Change it to green. I can give it an outline. So if I've made it green, maybe I want to give it a dark outline like that. So you can see it has a little bit of an outline around it. I can also give it text effects like shadow or reflection or glow or bevel or 3D rotation. <clears throat> And at the very bottom is transform. And here's where I can actually change the way I want it to look. Like if I want it to go around in a circle or from the bottom around. And a lot of these, it depends on how much text you're working with, which one of those you can use. So let's go down and we're going to choose another one now. I'm going to go into insert, back to word art. And this time I'm going to choose this one. Okay, I'm going to type my name again. And I'm going to move it under my first Mrs. Ryan so we can play around with it a little bit. I can change the text fill. But that kind of takes away from what I had in mind when I chose that one. You can change the outline of it to a different color. Or, and you can also change the effects. Let's go ahead and make this one a reflection. Uh, we're going to do it half reflection, four point offset, which means there's a little bit of a space between the actual word art and its reflection. Let's insert another one. This time, let's do this one down here in the corner. I'm going to type in Mrs. Ryan. And move it down here so we can work on it. Um, let's this time make it a glow. And we're just going to put kind of a background color on it to make it stand out better. Down in text effects, I'm going to go ahead down to transform and give it a little bit of a shape. You know, so it stands out some more. Um, now we're going to go and try and one more text box, or not text box, sorry, word art, and we're going to do, let's do this one, type in Mrs. Ryan, oops, sorry, and move this up here so we can fix it. Um, let's go ahead and change the text fill because I really don't care for that color. And I'm going to do a text outline of something a little bit different, maybe black. And we're going to give this one a 3D rotation, just a little bit of one. And also give it a text effect that transforms it to something that looks like that. Okay, so this is a brief introduction and a quick video on inserting word art.